We got a new toy and we can't wait to share it with you. It's Captain Cook's Oven Plus Double Decker Outdoor Pizza Oven. We're going to do a pizza on it today and finish our wings off on it that we got on the smoker. So why the new toy? Well, May 13th, which, which is next month, is Amber and I's 28th wedding anniversary. And this is what we're getting each other for our wedding anniversary gift. We got us the Double Decker Captain Cook's Oven Plus Double Decker Pizza Oven. And to start off first, we needed a table to set it on. We got to, we're going to put the link in the description for you. But we got this table on Amazon. It was $100. Uh, there are things we love about this table. It's nice and sturdy. It does come with uh, three hooks to hang some stuff on. Now, I do have the uh, uh, Blackstone magnets work very well on there, too. But the biggest thing was the propane. It does come with a propane holder. And, of course, this needs propane to run. So we wanted something with propane. And it's got wheels on one side, so we can easily pick this up and just roll it where we need it with no problem at all. Even though we love this table that it, that we got for it on Amazon, as I've spoke about with the Blackstone videos before as far as the instructions, the instructions on this table were awful. The pictures were awful. The wording of it was awful. Grant you there's not much to it, uh, but the uh, instructions were awful. So just be prepared to... Do it yourself, literally, but it is a good table for what we need. And also, just to clarify, the instructions with the Blackstone were perfect. Yes. They, they had a great instruction manual. Everybody else should learn from them. And yes, we've named it just like we've named everything else. One of our favorite, again, we like music from the 40s for the most part. And one of our favorite singers is uh, Dean Martin. And so Amber named this Dino. Dino. So that's the name. So I am very excited, even though my wife tells me not to use that word, about our anniversary gift. So I'm ready to get this thing open, get it laid out, and get it put together so we can make us a wonderful pizza today. Yes, I'm hoping the instructions are very easy on this. Instruction booklet, Amber. Thank you. Comes with a screwdriver. That is packaged very well. I like how, the, how they had the styrofoam where you could just pick it up and lift the whole thing out. A cast iron grate for the bottom of it. So this does come with a pizza cutter and also a pizza peel. There's the handle for it. We'll get that put on here in a few minutes. We want to get the instruction book out. And let's see what step one is. My loving wife of 28 years. Take the plastic off the handle. And with this handle, you can use it to open and close the lid. You can also use it to carry it. Yeah, because this is portable. So you can take it um, camping, you can take it to the park, to the beach. So this does come with the regulator for the 20 pound propane bottle. It's one of the best things about this is the pizza stone sits down in 
that rack. So yes, make sure you get all the plastic off. This is all wrapped together. Butterfly burner right there. Now we're just going to set it on the back side. And this is real simple. We've got our holes in the bottom and our feet are just going to screw right into that. Hey, the simpler you can make it for me, the better. I'm bad about reading directions. I don't mind the pictures and the short words, but they need to be good. Anniversary girl, what's our next step? So the next step is um, there should be a safety chain. Yes, I saw the safety chain. So it's going to be put in that top part right there. Yeah, right there. With this little screw. And what's that for, Amber? That is to um, be able to keep the, the lid shut if you're using it. Um, when you're moving it? Yeah, if gotcha. you're using it like to take it somewhere. So what's our next step, Amber? There's two big screws, and you're going to put one in each side of the lid. And that's going to be for our handle. So our handle will have a stopping point going forward. See now, pull that out right there. Handle will stop right there. And then when you go to pick it up and carry it, you can carry it like that. But that's where you can do it and slide it back and it'll stay in place so you can use it to lift up the lid and take it down. So what's our next step, Amber? We're going to remove the two pre-assembly screws from the slide bracket. And there's two on each side. And then that's going to, we're going to get, it's going to attach a brace. So, so far, the instructions are real easy and nice. And yes, it even, they even gave us a little screwdriver. Which actually come in handy for these screws because my other one was too big. And which way is this bracket going to go, Amber? It's going to go the other other way. With like the, this? Yep, just like that. This with, oh, it says this side face up. And then just put our screws back in? Yes. What's our next step, Amber? We're going to install the pizza stone. So what's our next step? Install this piece here. And this, and then instructions, they got good pictures for you. Uh, you do want to wash this off in the grease dripping area uh, before you use it for the first time. So you're going to slide this all the way out because it goes behind this little opening you see here. It sits in there just like that. What's the next pan, Amber? Next pan is this one here that has a handle on it. And where does that go? That goes... Right up front? Right up front. It sits there just like that. That's real nice. So what's the next one, Amber? Right here. So this is actually your grease stripping pan, just like you have in smokers and stuff. It's slanted, so it can slant and, and feed out the hole right here. And you got your little cutouts right here, and you have a little tab on each side right in here. Right there. And it sits right on top of that one. And the grease will drip down and drip into our drip pan right there. I love that. That's nice. So again, you'll need to clean these off every now and then. Get the drippings off. And what's next, Amber? Going to install the grill grate right on top of that. Uh, it shows doing it, yeah, like that. It shows doing it the way I'm not doing it. 
You know that. That's nice. That's where we're going to sear our steaks at right there. Mm-hmm. And that's where we'll, we'll cook the top of our pizza at. And what's next? So next, um, you're going to hook that safety chain to the handle on the grease catcher. So this handle right here. Yeah. Gotcha. And then the last part is that clip. So we're going to attach this bracket right here to the back. It's to hold this when you're not using it, the gas line in place. So with the screwdriver that they provided, we'll take this screw out right here. Yeah, there we go. So we got the, the tab right there that's going to fit in there, and then we're just going to screw a screw back in. And when you're carrying it, transporting it, the line will fit right there for you. All right. What's next, lady? So that's actually it. That's it? Oh, no, hold on now. Hold on a minute. Oh. I got to finish something up. <laughs> I call the pizza it, peel. I call it my big pizza spatula. Obviously, that's not the technical term for it. Technical term is pizza peel. But if I call it a spatula, that's okay. So we just got to screw on our handle. And notice how Sean just threw those instructions for doing that right into the trash pile. Who needs instructions, man? I mean, yes, it should be pretty simple. but It should be pretty simple. And that all being said, I've definitely learned over the years the simple things in life <laughs> are always the hardest. Just slide. Okay. Just slide the metal in between the two pieces of wood there we got our screws that'll go on the top here and then we got our nuts for the bottom Tighten that up. And one other thing, we're going to hook up our propane. That's not going to be that hard. Do you want me to? But there we go. We are all ready to get our pizza on. I'm so very happy. That was very easy to do. Instructions were very nice. Yeah, for me, putting the stuff in, a little confusing there for a second, but I did a, I did good on that, I think. You did. And uh, But that is nice. I cannot wait. I'm going to be eating pizza in no time at all. Yep, we're going to get our pizza together and fire up Dino. Yep. Let's go get the pizza.